What's up everyone? So today we look at Sniper Elite, a big game series. How do they do in their newest VR game? Well, not that good. Let me explain. First off, it's not a bad game, just kind of a basic VR game, which coming from de developers of such great game series, I expected more out of them. Don't look here if you want awesome multiplayer mode of invading somebody else's game and trying to stop, stop them from being a sniper, or giant open world maps. Nope, they're not here. Uh, it's kind of crazy that they chose such small maps for their sniper game here. The guns, they feel last gen. I mean, damn, they feel last gen VR for real. Like, they don't have any weight to them, they go through walls, they just don't really feel like an object. And the revolver and shotgun, you have to break them open with your hand. Like, you gotta grab them and break them open. You can't, like, flick them open or anything cool like that, which, you know, ruins like one of the coolest things about using a shotgun or revolver but hey most games they get that right sniper elite for some reason they get that wrong but the sniper rifles feel so damn good that slow slow-mo bullet time oh that's where it's at But the levels don't feel very big. Not good stealth. The whole game, I would just shoot them all. Let them alert everyone. As the areas were so small, there was no consequences. And I didn't have to worry about them killing me or anything because there wasn't a lot of enemies. It's really a shame compared to the actual Sniper Elite series. When you see how good Assassin's Creed converted their series into VR. Like, damn, what happened here? But if you're here for sniper rifle kills in slow motion, let me show you the best part of the game right here. Damn, it feels good to snipe enemies out. The death cam is amazing. If they could just fix the other minor problems and really put hard work into the game, they could have a much better sniper elite VR experience. But with the way it is, it's just kinda okay. If you're just getting into VR, or really love sniping in VR, then yes, it's probably fine for you, but I'm not sure if veteran VR players want to get this, as the weapons don't feel great, and the gameplay mechanics and the story isn't good either, and sadly, there is no multiplayer, which could have helped the game out a lot. It's only, it's only a few hours long, and just kind of boring truly, with nothing that really got me excited to play more, so I don't foresee myself you're, you know, trying this anymore after this, uh, it's, I'm gonna let it sit there and forget about it. If I was to give this game a score, I would give it a 3 out of 5. Well, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more VR content. Alright, later. Oh, that's a stomach. Oh, through the arm. Oh, nice. See, that's, that's, that's where this game is really... Really hitting hard. That right there. Would the tank even be here?